My name is uh, Johannes Schmöllig. I was born in 1950. I learned to play the piano at eight and I changed to the church organ maybe at, with 11. Studied music in Berlin when I became around about 20 years old. I did my deg degree with 27 and uh, with 29, in the age of 29, I joined uh, Tender and Dream. We worked from 1980 until 1985 with Tender and Dream, Christoph Franke, Edgar Fröse and me. And I split in 85 and from this time I worked on my own as a professional musician. When I joined Tangerine Dream in 1980, we changed the style from the Berlin School style, which is more the imp improvisation style with lots of sequence and stuff. We changed it into more complex music, which you have to compose, maybe for scoring films, which we did for Hollywood, for example. What I mean with this, if you try to do new things, you shouldn't copy the old one. You should think about what can I do, what, what can I do with myself, maybe with new instruments, with new sounds, to, to make something new. And not to say, well, I prefer the old Berlin school, I will copy it and then I'm, I'm a new uh, uh, composer. This is, I think, the wrong way. I discover uh, a new instrument for myself, which was the, uh, the Cork Kronos. My creation in, in, in making music, uh, it starts mostly with, with uh, sounds I, I haven't heard before. And these sounds came out of the Kronos. I could work very easily with this instrument, very fast. So uh, after two months, uh, uh, the whole uh, diary of a common thread was uh, was, was done very quickly. I like to, to explore uh, a kind of uh, surface, a kind of sound quality. If I start to, to search, I go deeper and deeper inside an instrument, in, inside the architecture, and I do understand how this functions. Uh, this gives me the possibility to, to discover an instrument, if I have time, and uh, try to figure out uh, w what is new and how can I come from the new to a, to a kind of composition which feels very comfortable with me. That's, uh, that's uh, how I like to work. Sometimes when um, I'm sit beside the keyboard or beside a piano and I don't know what happened and it comes from from somewhere else. I only have to, to put my fingers on the keys and it starts playing. Uh, most of the time there is a kind of uh, uh, software, computer software in the background which recorded my, my uh, uh, via MIDI, what I, what I did. I like to print my notes and uh, then I realize what I did. And from this time I have a, a theme or a motive uh, or so, and I like to start and work on this and uh, so on, but, uh, but I don't know where it, where it came from. I was really surprised because in the Kronos, all these different kind of uh, sound engines, they are st in, inside this instrument. So I, I could believe it. I found an MS-20, for example. I found a Poly-6. Poly uh, uh, all these instruments which I had uh, uh, or, or listened to or could play during my time with Tender and Dream. Everything is inside. You have to discover it. You have to work on it. So you have to go really inside this instrument. But everything is there. You, have to, you can use it. It's wonderful. It's good to start with the classical way. And from this time, you can develop. Maybe you go in this direction or another direction. Which, this is very important because this is a whole world. It's an uh, own language. And if you see what is written in notes, you can understand in your, in your mind how, how it sounds like. I know this is an opinion which is not uh, very modern and which is maybe very fashioned, old fashioned. 
but I'm still uh, in this opinion that is, I think, uh, the most important thing to start from the basics and then go. The world is, is open, you can go wherever you want, but you can't drive a car if you don't understand how the engine works, for example.